Hey you guys, in this short video I'm just going to be doing a quick breakdown of how I did my last intro which involved these rigged an animated wings and they sort of smashed together and there's a whole bunch of particles and 3D text and stuff like that so I'm going to be taking you through the Cinema 4D part of it and also the After Effects part of it so to start creating this I downloaded this 3D model from TF3DM which is a character with these reddish wings on the back and if we go ahead and import that into Arthur, into Cinema 4D this is what it looked like when I imported it so it's not textured, not anything and I started by just deleting this model here so we can go ahead and just delete that and that so I was left with these wings here and then I went in also and just deleted this half of the wing so I was left with one wing here and if we go ahead and open up my scene file which is here I'll come out of the camera if we go through this step by step go ahead and turn all this off I started with just this one wing here and I went into the textures and I just went ahead and loaded those textures in that came with that project file and I played around with the colors a little bit to make it black and white and once that was done I started to broaden the wings up a bit so I added another one and played around with the position and added another one to put on front just so we're left with this now to animate it I used all I used was bend deformers and a lot of them as you can see over here I started with one here just to get a simple animation going on I added another one to add sort of the starting open bit next one added a bit more animation here one more which was the main flap of the wing as you can see there and finally one more for that ending bit where it comes together now once this was done I shoved all of these objects into a connect object and then put that under a symmetry object so I can get two wings together and now I was left with this animation which looks pretty good and then I just added a camera and did a simple zoom out from there Now once you render this in Cinema 4D it's not looking that great as you can see here if we just render it out quickly. This is how the Cinema 4D looks once it was rendered completely raw and I rendered that as a TIFF sequence with alpha channel on and then once I was done I started to animate it and add some code correction and all that good stuff inside of After Effects. So let's go ahead and open up my scene file which is here. We just go through this step by step and so by the ways. So I started with a simple background, which may be hard to see, it's just got a slight ramp on it. From a grey to a black. And then we need to add some particles and atmospheric effects, as you can see there. The particles was just CC particle world with a simple choker to get that more hardened look. If we zoom in on one of these. Here's with and without the choker. And then we need to add some text. If we go back here. If we scrub forward, this is the 3D text that I used. We go inside of this composition. I did an RGB split on it just to add some more professional sort of look. If we uh, solo these guys, you can see how I've done that. And inside here I've just got multiple layers which are offset in 3D space to give it that depth of field look. So we started with this layer, added one on top and just kept building them up like this. So that's how I did that. Go back to our main composition. I then imported the wings render from Cinema 4D 
and you'll be able to see these at the start here. I just added a simple bulge effect onto it when they are coming together. And next was the particles which I used. So if we solo these layers, this is what the particle explosion looks like on its own. Now to do this I used simple CC particle world. And what I did was I went ahead in Cinema 4D and rendered out one feather from that wing model and saved it as a PNG. So this is what it looked like. It was quite low res at the time. It's just a simple one feather which was edited a bit. And then what I did in CC Particle World was for the particle type I used a textured disk and under the texture I used that feather PNG. So we're going to be left with, if we turn these off, we're just going to be left with these exploding feather looking objects. Uh, I also increased the resistance which is under the physics tab. So you get that effect of exploding out and then just falling down. And then I copied and pasted this a few times and played around with the particle size. And then I was left with a more heavy explosion, as you can see there. And you see they all just fall down towards the end. Next was some noise and some lighting effects. So I added a bit of noise to add some texture. And the light makes it look a bit more brighter. For the lights I just used a simple fill on a mask. If we turn that on, you can see it's just one solid object and I feathered out the edge. And the same again for the top, but I did a more blue colour. One more light for the middle, just to brighten that up. Next was a vignette, just to darken the edges quite heavily, as you can see there. And once I decided to composite these together, our main animation was done. Just needed to add some color correction. So on this layer, if we just go through them, firstly I added a curve here, which does main the main color correction. So I made it darker. Under the red channel, I've done a slight S curve, and under the blue channel, I've increased the darkness to give it more blue, and I've also decreased the lightness to give it that orangey, greeny tint on top of that. Next was an exposure, just to increase it slightly, and this also did the fade in at the start. And then next was a glow, just to brighten up some areas of the wings, and also on the particles there, we're going to get some nice glow in the middle there. And then finally, I added a sharpen just to bring a bit more detail out on the overall intro. Now a really nice effect that I added to this was the depth of field, if we add that on there. I used the After Effects standard camera lens blur, and I used a depth map with a simple white and black solid layer. So we have our black layer and our white layer, I've done a simple radial sort of effect. And under the depth of field, for the blur map I've used that depth map. So you'll see when we scrub through here, we're going to get some nice blurring towards the edge of the composition if we go ahead and turn that on and off, which looks really nice. We've then got a simple film grain just to add on top of that. Finally, a letterbox we can, which we can add on to that just to give it a more cinematic look, like that. We also have a wiggle control for the explosion of the particles. If we go ahead and turn them on, we're going to get some nice jittery animation for when the feathers explode. And then that was pretty much it for the visuals part. I went ahead and rendered this out in After Effects once that was done. And if we go ahead and open up my sound project file, I went over to Audio Jungle and bought some wings flapping sound effects and some cinematic impact sound effects. And I just began sound designing over the top of this intro. So you can see here we've got our sub bass, which I also use for the explosion. 
and we've got some nice atmospheric effects some mystical effects going on in the background and that was pretty much it so the visuals are now done, the sound design is all done I went ahead and rendered this in After Effects and the intro was done and that is pretty much a short breakdown of how I did this video I hope you learned some cool techniques which you can use in your videos and yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you want to see for future videos and yeah I'll see you next time bye guys